If you're looking to buy a used car, you're not alone. Whether a private party, website app, or even a dealership, nearly 41 million used vehicles were sold last year. And that's a lot of vehicles, and there are ways to get the smartest deal. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix. The used car market is really high right now, and there are so many choices. Finding that one right car for you could be a bit of a challenge. Here are some tips and steps to help you find the best vehicle, get the best price, and make sure it's the perfect vehicle for you with Car Smarts. If this is your first time to the channel, we give you more than car reviews. First looks at new vehicles, we give you Car Smarts because knowledge is power. Make sure to subscribe and click that little bell so you don't miss anything. How much car can you afford? The first rule of thumb, if you're taking out a loan to pay for your vehicle, your car payment should not be more than 20% of your take-home pay. And if you're sticking to that super tight budget, you may wanna spend even less. Used cars need maintenance, like tires and oil changes and other fluid changes and components. And then there are the other ownership costs that people forget because they're part of your budget, such as fuel and insurance. If the car you're planning to buy is out of warranty, it might be a good idea to set aside a just-in-case fund to cover any unexpected repairs. Purchase an extended warranty to protect against those unexpected large Expenses, because according to a recent study by AAA, the average auto repair bill is between five and $600. And one in three motorists can't afford to pay for it or incur that debt. Check out carwarrantyguru.com to get the best warranty company. Build a target list of used vehicles. So if you're looking to save money, consider more than one brand. Make a list of three vehicles that meet your needs and fall within your budget. Check out our car reviews, we reviewed them all to get better insights so you know what you're getting and make those right choices. You can check that out up here. If you're planning to buy a vehicle that is less than five years old, consider a certified pre-owned vehicle or a CPO. It's a wise choice because there's a warranty that backs the vehicle from the car maker or you can purchase an extended warranty. Look for the dealership that sells that vehicle of that same brand. So if you're looking at a certified pre-owned Nissan Altima, then you would go to a Nissan dealer. This will get you the right vehicle at the best price with that warranty. Check prices. Prices are driven in part by where you're shopping. Look to online places like CarGurus, CarMax, dealer websites, and private party sellers like eBay or Bring a Trailer. Private party sellers will typically have the lower prices, while certified pre-owned vehicles will typically cost you a bit more, but you get that warranty protection. Check the vehicle history report. It's worth the money to get a Carfax or an auto check report, but this will not always tell you the full story. If the car you're looking at has a bad history, it may not be reported. Also, if it's flood damage, it may not be reported. That's when you walk away from that vehicle. These reports can reveal vital information about the car, including whether the odometer has been rolled back or if it has a salvage title, which means it has been declared a total loss by the insurance company. You'll also use that car's vehicle identification number, known as a VIN, to get that information. Most major dealers offer these reports free of charge, but if you're buying from a private seller or online, you'll have to pay for that report. Number five, test drive the vehicle. Test driving a used vehicle is the best way to know if this is the right choice for you. It's also a good way to assess the car's condition. Here are some things that you absolutely need to check before making a decision. Be aware of these important factors like seating comfort and space for all rows, visibility, are there blind spots? Can you get your car seats installed easily? And safety features like backup cameras, active cruise control, blind spot detection, cross traffic alert, and more. These safety features will lower your insurance rate as well. Check out the tires. Is the tread wear even or bald? This is a sign of other issues and suspension problems. Are the brakes squeaking? Is the brake pedal spongy? These are signs that there's more issues and a big service bill coming. Open the hood. You don't have to know a lot about cars to see if something looks wrong. If something is leaking, steaming, or covered in oil, it's time to start asking questions or maybe just not buy that vehicle. Does the air conditioning blow cold? Do the headlights and brake lights and turn signals work? If not, again, this is a sign the car hasn't been maintained well. 
And after the test drive, ask the owner or the dealer if you can see the service records. These will show you if the car has had scheduled maintenance, performed on time, and if they do not have any maintenance records at all, take it to a mechanic and make sure that they check it out before you make any dollar offers. Have the car inspected. Always have a used car checked by an ASE certified technician. This pre-purchase inspection costs about $100 to $200 and can alert you to problems you may not find on your own and save you a lot of money. And failing to do so could cost you thousands of dollars in repairs down the road. Don't get caught out by buying a flood damaged car or one with serious issues that have been masked in some way. You'll be responsible for those costs. A private party seller will probably allow you to do this with not much pushback or resistance. Most dealerships will let you borrow a car for the outside mechanic to take a look at because they wanna sell you that vehicle, they want that inspection done. If it's a certified pre-owned car, there's already been an inspection on it and you get the warranty that's why you're paying more for those type of vehicles. Negotiating a good deal doesn't have to be a painful experience. If you are reasonable and have done your homework on pricing, you can make a fair deal pretty quickly and easily. Here are some tips to reduce the stress. Make an opening offer that is lower than the maximum price, but in the ballpark based on your average price paid due to your research and your homework. Explain that you've done your research and you have the facts to support your offer. Remember that this is a business deal, not a flea market, and everybody wants to get a fair price. Get your paperwork done in advance. Check with your insurance carrier before making that final offer. Find out what the rates are so you know what to expect in your budget. That could be the difference between affording the vehicle and not making it to your budget very easily. Get your insurance policy in place before driving away with the vehicle. That's actually illegal. Some people want that peace of mind that comes with extended warranties. So this is something you might want to consider. Unless the car is still under the factory warranty or it's a certified pre-owned vehicle, do your research and check out places like carwarrantyguru.com and compare all the different rates from all the different carriers. Don't forget you are also responsible for the sales tax and the licensing fees. If buying a car from an individual owner, make sure the seller properly transfers the title and the registration to you. Getting a signed bill of sale is important as well. Rules governing vehicle registration and licensing may vary from state to state. If possible, check with your local Department of Motor Vehicles, your DMV, to make sure there is no past due registration fees you'd be responsible for if you purchase this vehicle. Now you're ready to show off your new ride. Enjoy the drive. Don't forget to check out our new website, Car Coach Reports, in English and in Spanish with some new contributors. Get more car smarts in my book. The link is down below, Lauren Fix's Guide to Loving Your Car. If you got value from this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And we appreciate your comments. We love to start the conversation. Follow me on all forms of social media at Lauren Fix to stay on top of the best prices and more auto information you won't find anywhere else. Thank you for supporting our Patreon page, Car Coach Reports, and we will look forward to seeing you next time.